That was the bed, I swear. Hi, days of the of LZB Table. My name is Sir Blot, and okay. Today is going to be an arduous task for about the next week or so, because with permission from my mom, Queen Hamthalot, um, sorry, I'm a little bit out of frame. With permission from Queen Hamthalot, my mom, she basically, I, I got permission that I could paint a mural on my wall. And in case you're wondering where you're at, you're on the public table right now. So, I kind of got the vision in my head to paint a mural on above above my bed, like the head of my bed. I don't know why, but here it is. But I decided to go with a gaming theme. At first, I was going to go with like nature and all that, but that'd be plagiarizing Joanna Cedia. And then, so then I decided my pets, but I'm not good with drawing animals that well. Real life animals, that is. So, I decided to go with a landscape of a video game world. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for this, but it's the Mushroom Kingdom from Mario. Yeah, I know, it's a little detailed. Might be too detailed, but oh well. Now, I'm starting this Monday, May 25th. I had to check my phone to make sure I got the idea right. And, uh, well, needless to say, I only got to the, I'm only going to do the sky today. If, well, I was. But, well, here's how far I got. Yeah, that's as far as I got. Yeah, I, I, I'm using, uh... I'm using Pool Blue from Craftsmart. This is not a sponsor. I just love their products. It's the only about the only kind of acrylic paint I use. Well, satin acrylic paint. But unfortunately, yeah, it'd be empty. And I and I ran out literally before I even got the sky done. Well, the first coat of the sky done. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to a craft store. So yeah, I think that's about as... But, I don't, but the unfortunate thing is... Oh, excuse me. But the unfortunate thing is... It's Memorial Day. I'm not going to continue tomorrow. Yeah. This is going to be a long few weeks. Thank God for sisters. Because... Well, my well, my little sister was my little sisters are gonna go to a pool party soon, and she had to go to Target. Thankfully, there's a Target right next to a craft store. She got me more paint. Rachel, if you're watching this, God bless you. So yeah, let's get back to work. Um, I probably I probably won't do a time lapse because well, I don't know what kind of music to put a time to avoid over the time lapse. I don't even know how to do a time lapse even. So, I'm going to probably cut the video here, and I'll be back once this part is done. Okay. So, sorry if my uh, lips are a little um, orange. Doritos on orange soda will do that to you. But anyway, so... There's this guy. Well, for the reference photo. You know... Maybe I should tape the reference photo right here. That's the way I'm looking at. I'll probably do that. I'll probably do that later. But anyway, um, the next step I'm gonna do is for the reference photo is to paint the trees right there. Now I'm a little worried because there are some thick areas in this paint. Where, well, the sky, I mean. Now I'm a little worried it will smudge. Well, wait and see. Anyway, on the bright side, I don't need this anymore. It's a step stool. I don't need the step stool anymore. Grab that because my arm is getting tired. So yeah. Next step, the trees. Be right back. Okay, so I got some of the trees. Let me pan down actually. So I'm working on the trees right now. While painting the trees, a little interesting side note, 
Um, I was painting, this is only the first coat, I'm still, it's still a work in progress, but while painting the trees, well, that happened, here I am, let me zoom in. While I was painting the trees, uh, no, too low. I'm bailing, 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 there. That happened. Yeah, I kind of drift, but honestly, you know. Uh. Yeah, I kind of drift. Um, but honestly, it kind of works, because it's going to be the same color anyway on the reference photo. So, um... And I would continue it when it dries in about a half hour, but, uh... Come here, sweetie. Come here. Come here. But, uh, well... Baby's puppy sitting. <laughs> I see. Here. Go back and lay down. Yeah, I'm watching Dobby now, so, uh... Make sure my mic's on, sorry. Remember for life of me. Yeah, I'm watching Dobby right now. But I don't mind, but, uh, I'm gonna wait for that to dry. And I would continue it later, but I'm puppy sitting, so who knows when I'll continue it the rest for today. Get in there, though. So, it's been about two hours. Maybe, I don't know. But, um, these are the trees. Honestly, I feel like I could do better, but I mean, I know it looks a little weird, but I was trying to show texture, so I did like a spiral motion instead of a straight line motion, so you can decide between hills and trees. I don't know how I feel about this, honestly, but I mean, it kind of looks like trees. I mean, it's in the background, so who knows? But yeah, I'm gonna let this dry. I, I added a little bit of grass green instead of holiday green. So I have like deep textures like for shadows and all that. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this so far, but yeah, it's currently uh, about three o'clock in the afternoon. Holy cow. Um, I think the next thing I'll do is the middle ground, which is hills behind the castle. So yeah, I'll wait for the paint to dry, and yeah, I'll get to it. By the way, while I'm in the middle of painting this, I'm kind of in the middle of a rabbit hole for uh, on Hulu binging. And it's, a, and it's a series actually from my childhood. I don't know if I... It's actually a series... Yeah, it's a series called... It's, I don't know if many people have heard of it, but... Anime fans will know it as Digimon. And oddly enough, it's the fourth season. Yes, I have weird tastes. I know. But, yeah. The fourth season is kind of frowned upon because of uh, the human. The human dig don't get partnered Digimon. The humans turn into Digimon. I don't know why it's so hated. It's actually pretty good in my. It's actually pretty good and nostalgic for me. Anyway. I just, I just thought I'd get into that. I just thought I'd tell you about the rabbit hole I got into. I'm losing my mind. Okay, so. It is currently half hour later, 3.32 p.m. And I got the hills done. And in case you're wondering why... Let me pan out. In case you're wondering why this is higher than that, don't blame me, blame the reference photo. It's just what I'm seeing on the image, okay? Hashtag deal with it. Anyway. So, I'm gonna let that dry. Um, and, yeah. I think after that, I'll go back in with the holiday green. And uh, do the foreground. Which is... The rest. Pray for me that I don't run out. Oh, in case you're wondering how I got this lime color, I miss I, I took a solo cup. I don't have any uh I don't have any uh, palettes or anything, but I need 
something bigger, so I used a solo cup. Um, I got, I mixed holiday green with apple tart, and I got this lime color. It kind of matches, kind of matches. So yeah, um, I'm working on this all day, pretty much. I'm working on this for hours. I'm already almost done with the foreground. Nice. Sorry, that wrong mode. <laughs> I was gonna, I was about to unpause, but I was about to unpause the TV instead of turning off the camera. Speaking of which. Okay, so I got the hill done. Nope, I know it looks like crap, but uh, I'm gonna have to stop for now because, well, this entire hill took all of the rest of Holiday Green from that bottle. So it looks like I'm gonna have to stop for now for today. Because it is quarter till five, and I would stop by the craft store again, but my arm's getting tough. But honestly, I feel like I need a break because I've worked on this literally all afternoon and morning. Yep, um, I think it's nothing good so far. I mean, obviously, I have this only a second coat, but until then, I'll call it a day. Okay, it is currently 6.13 p.m. on Tuesday, May 26th. Okay. So my dad went to the, uh, sorry, my camera's pan down. So my dad went to the craft store, back to the craft store for me today. Um, he got me a few selection of paints. I really should sit down. Maybe not. That's private matter. Anyway. So my dad, he um, went to the craft store for me and he got more holiday green because I ran out, but they didn't have any satin acrylic, so he got matte instead. Yes, there's a difference. So it looks like I'm going to have to take the matte paint, this holiday, this holiday green, and paint all over this part and just cover it up. I hope it goes well. Excuse me. Wish me luck. Okay. Is that recording? Yeah. Okay, so. Sorry if I look a little sweaty. It's 90 degrees outside, which means, and I'm, even though I'm in air conditioning, I'm still hot and sweating my butt off. Try to keep it clean. So here's the second coat of the for the hill. Um, I would fish, fix the patchy areas, but honestly, what'd you do? What do I? Honestly, I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna start on the castle next of this picture. You can see that. Yeah, you can see. It. Anyway, so next part is the castle. And I have some white, which is a lot of white, which. Honestly, it might last me a while. I'm also going to need some gray, and I forgot to grab that. But I also have red for the roof. Um, yeah, this might work. Wish me luck. Okay, so here's Mushroom, here's Peach's Castle. Honestly, be better. It honestly doesn't look like Peach's Castle. It looks more like Madame Foster's home for imaginary friends. So yeah, it actually doesn't look it actually doesn't look like that. I'm not gonna lie. But in case you're wondering why this little area, I mean I don't know what this. You guys can get a better look. There. I left this area green because well Inside is a inside is a stained the glass area where Princess Peach is. Uh, it's like a stained glass painting of Princess Peach. And in case you're wondering why I haven't painted that yet, well, I, don't have any, I ran out of pink. I do have one shade of pink, but it's a neon pink. She's more of a light pink. 
Plus all my, br plus all my brushes are a bit wet. So yeah, um, all my brushes are drying, like literally this took a lot of brushes, as did um, these parts because um, they're in the painting, like this is leading, leading to a river, that's the side of a hill that's cut off for a tower, and this part, well that's just the side of the hill. So yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, So yeah, I'm going to have to let this dry a little bit, um, before I add anything else. Uh, also, yeah, I didn't realize I was out of pink. I guess I could use neon pink, but for now, I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes, for a few hours, or, not hours, minutes, and, uh, I think I'll work on this little tower that goes right here next. That goes right here next. I'm failing miserably. So yeah, um, see you then. <sighs> okay, let me check what time it is real quick. Eight o'clock on the dot. You can't even see it. So it's eight o'clock on the dot, and uh, well. Here's what I've achieved. I added a path leading to the castle, the little river right here, a little side area right here, some, a tower. And this is going to be the well, by the way. But, uh, yeah, I'm running out of steam. And, oh, and by the way, in case you see a little red right here, that's not the video acting up on you. Um, the color of the sand kind of mixed in with the red. On accident. Yeah, that's my bad. But anyway, um, I think all I have left to do tomorrow is I'm looking at the reference photo right now. I have to finish the well, add trees, and add this little hedge area right here. So yeah, I think I'll work on that tomorrow, and uh, yeah. But until then, I'll see, but I'll, I'll, I mean, you'll see it in a few seconds, but yeah, I'm going to take a break for tonight. See you in a few seconds. Okay, so, it is currently Wednesday, May 27th. Yeah, May 27th, and it's 7.43 a.m. We've been on this painting for literally three days. And the plan for the day is to... Get this little head. Wait, where did it go? Oh, it's not my other mirror. Get that hedge done. Get the trees all done. Fix some errors and add some more stuff. You'll see what I mean in a minute. It's early in the morning. I'm still trying to wake up, but you'll see what I mean when I'm done. Guess what? You're off the tripod for once. <laughs> so here's what I'm doing so far. Here's what I'm done. I've added some trees. I, I finished the well, and a little hole for the well. Fix that little patchy red of red, patchy red area that I messed up on. And if you look closely, I added some trees pretty much freaking everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, I also added the river. That's in the picture, right there. The only thing I'm worried about now, I'm not sure how to do the hedge area. It's the only one I have left, and I'm not sure how to do it because, according to the picture, it's the same color as the hill. It's not the same color as the, tree, the trees. I mean, I'll probably, probably figure something out, but I'm not sure how to do this. I look like Jesus is behind me. Anyway. So also, I haven't figured out this part yet, and it turns out, if you look closely, how do I zoom in? Oh, like that. If you zoom in a little closely on the painting, you can't even see it. So if, if you look closely at the painting, it looks like in the, on the castle, right here. Basically, 
it's, it shows that Princess Peach has a two-color dress on the stained glass. So, looks like I'm going to have to use some neon pink as well as some pink chiffon, but I can't do that yet because I don't have any light pink. Ugh. But yeah, all that's left, i got to wait for this to dry and paint the bridge. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I also got to paint that hedge area, and I got to paint the mosaic of on this window. Oh, and I don't know if I've said this before, but I do have other plans for this painting. It's just, well, I'm, I'm basically going to add other elements from other Mario games on it. And pretty much, I'm going to add like stuff from like the old NES games to like Mario Odyssey. Like, this kingdom is all the way back to, from Super Mario 64. However, any, I feel like I feel like I should add more stuff to it that like make it up to make it look like a Mario game and not a Cartoon Network show. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do that eventually when I get everything else done and I get more, I get a light pink for this paint mosaic. So, yeah. So I updated you on that. Be right back. Okay, so. I just had an epiphany. Or, is that the right word? I thought of something. I don't know if that's the right word or not. But anyway. I thought of this because... I, I, I didn't realize this because, well... Let me just explain what I'm doing. I'm gonna do the same, basically the same thing I did with this hill, like the middle ground. I basically mixed holiday green with a lime, like apple tart, and got this color. And I basically mixed it in a solo cup. So basically, I thought of this. To get the light pink, why don't I mix red with white? Hmm, who would have thunk? Who would have thought? Anyway, so yeah, I'm kind of an idiot. I didn't know why I didn't think of that. But yeah, I got the little area for the hedge maze, and I'll wait for that to dry. I also got the bridge. Okay, let's see. I got the bridge right here. Now, for this mosaic, I'm gonna need some dark yellow. Probably, I would have, I would use like a light yellow, a basic yellow, but this is all I have. I think this is very really well. Anyway, and then I'm going to use neon pink for the skirt part of Pre Princess Peach's dress, and then I'm going to mix some red and white to get the light pink for the top part of the dress. Also, I'll need some more white for the gloves because it looks like she's praying. Probably praying to Miyamoto, who knows. Anyway, so yeah, I think I'm going to paint the mosaic right here and then wait for that to dry while that dries and I'll paint the hedges on and I think that's it. I'll have to, to run through the painting a little bit. I'll have to run through the reference photo real quick afterwards but see you then. The moment you have all been waiting for. That was a lens cap by the way. <laughs> so yeah I uh, finished the painting. So if you look I mean, from afar, it looks really good, but there are some areas that, well, if you look closely, are bad. <laughs> like, the mosaic, well, of Princess Peach in the castle window, well, just don't look too closely at it, because, uh, yeah, I need some TLC. It look, take it as an abstract painting, like Picasso. Yeah, it, 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 it's basically an abstract work of art. Not much of an exact replica. I'll touch it up when it dries. But, I also got the hedges. They just look like a bunch of moldy cereal in a cereal bowl full of milk. Let's call it... But we'll call it shrubs. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I got everything. Well, at least for the reference photo. So this... Bye-bye. Okay. Really caught up. I think my elder sister just pulled up. So yeah. I 
think I'm done. Let me pan the camera down a little bit. So you can see everything. Yeah. I think I'm I think I'm done. Well, at least the reference photo. I think my other scissors pulled in. I'll be right back. Okay, so I brought my so my little sister or my older sister needed in, and she had to drop off her dog. Dobby's with me again. So, as I was saying, I'm done with the reference photo, but there are some things that I probably should fix, like the hedges and Princess Peach in the mosaic. But beyond that, I think I'm done with that reference photo. But I feel like. I feel like there should be more Mario stuff, so no one would get confused. So, I'm thinking of adding some, like, like, at least, like, just one item from each Mario game. Like, I'm thinking of adding a Sunshine from Super Mario Sunshine. The Sorry if you hear my dog, if you hear Xavier bark. I can talk. Sorry if you hear Xavier crying. Microphone on? Yeah. So, basically... I'm thinking of adding the, the airship from Mario Odyssey, the hat ship, um, and so, as well as some other things like some characters. But yeah, I need to have breakfast first. I'm starving. It's already 9.30 I think. Maybe? I don't know. But I'm losing track of time, as you can tell. I'm, and as you can tell, also, I'm tired. <sighs> anyway, see you in a bit. Okay, so, I added the, this is what I'm talking about by adding little details from the other Mario games, like, this is the airship from Mario Odyssey, and right here, we have a sun, we have a shine sprite from Super Mario Sunshine, and I realized now that this half, some of it will be cut off from both, because I, can, I kind of painted a bit too high, and, uh, I painted, up, I painted up towards the painter's tape. At least I didn't paint above the painter's tape. That would have been bad. But anyway, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna think of more brainstorming. I'm gonna brainstorm some more ideas for, like, other Mario games to feature. Like, I still have a lot to do. Wish me luck. Alright, so... Finished adding some details right there to the airship. Um, it is currently quarter till one o'clock p.m. Oh, and in case you're wondering what this is, um, it's ba basically this is from Mario. These are guys are from Mario Galaxy. For anyone who remembers the shadow people from Hell Valley, creepy pasta. That's them. Um, turn the camera down. I've also added some other things, like this, it's, it's still drying, but it's a Yoshi egg from Super Mario World. Uh, uh, oh yeah. And here on the bottom, if I can get it low, get there, there, right, right here, is a question block from Mario 1, and a cat bell, and the super bell from Super Mario 3D World. Now, I also have the, I don't know if I pointed that out, but it's the sun, sh the shine, something, what's it called again? I don't know. But it's basically the sunlight, the shine, oh, shine sprite, that's it, from Mario Sunshine. Now, I would, now you're probably wondering, where's Mario 2 and 3? About that, well, Mario 2, well... For anyone who's playing the game, consider it a spoiler. The game ends in a dream. Like, all the events of the game are a dream, and Mario's asleep in it. Sleeping, dreaming of it. So, the, basically the whole concept of me, of this, of me putting, on this, putting it on this wall, up, on the head of my bed, it's kind of like the ending in Super Mario Bros. 2. I really couldn't think of anything else. And for Mario 3, well, that, as well as Luigi's Mansion, Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, and even Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, and possibly the Smash Brothers Melee, that will be the characters. Now, 
I just gotta... So basically I'm gonna feature Mario in a Tanuki suit, which was first introduced in Mario 3. Um, Luigi, obviously Luigi's Mansion, Captain Toad, Rabbit's Peach, because I thought it'd be funny, <laughs> and Giga Bowser from Melee. Specifically Super Smash Bros. Melee. Hopefully I have my colors and everything. So, and after that, I think I'll be done. See you then. Okay, it is currently 2.07 p.m. Let me show you guys what I've done so far. Let me just un unplug my camera. There we go. I have it charging. I'm just gonna take it off. I'm just gonna leave it on the tripod. Oh, about tripped over my pants. So, here we have Tanuki Mario, who's seen better days. Here we have Luigi, specifically the one from Luigi's Mansion. Oh, I forgot his L. Darn it. I was waiting for the white to dry, but still. And here we have this abomination, Rabbit's Peach. Might have gone, might have gone partying too much. You know what I mean. I'm lo I am losing my mind about this project. Like, I can't even move my selfie mode the right way. Okay. So, all that's left is one more character. Where am I gonna add him? I have no idea. But it is Captain Toad who I have left. Um, I need a break. Oh my gosh, I've been working non-stop for literally two hours already. Like, my sisters are already off work. And I started this when I dropped when I dropped off my little sister at her work. They work at the same place, don't worry. But yeah. At least I'm almost done. But I'll see you at the grand reveal after I'm done taking a break and painted Captain Toad. Okay, so I've been debating about what to do about the rest of the painting, and like, do I add Captain Toad and Giga Bowser? But after some internal conflict within my subconscious, I decided I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them off the painting because there's a lot going on right now, and. Uh, yeah, I'm running out of steam. Plus my knees. My knees are killing me. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Cause when you're when you're when you're this when you're when you're facing these two, wait, you can't even see them. When you're fate when you're painting these two, Luigi from Luigi's Mansion and Rabbit's Peach from Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, I was squatting like. And, I'll, and always on, and like on my knees and all that, and I'm a few seconds of from my I'm a few seconds away of my knees literally giving out. Insert Ed Sheeran song here. Anyway, so I gotta say, even even though day day three has of painting this has literally kicked me in the butt. I'm kind of far done. Not gonna lie. There are a few things that could be better, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. Now, does that mean I'm gonna take the tape off and put my bed back in its regular position now? Heck no. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait overnight to let this dry, and then I'll take off the, t the painter's tape and move my bed back. So yeah, I think so. Yeah. um... See you tomorrow morning. <sighs> okay. It is currently Thursday, May 28th, and it's 7 o'clock a.m. Let's take this tape off already. Okay. Sorry if I'm not acting like myself, I just woke up. Let's start at the bottom, because I know that'll be easier. Let's take off the tape. This is probably going to be unsatisfying to say the least. 
In case you're wondering, yes, I am still wearing the same outfit I've worn since Monday. I am that gross of a human being. I forgot we double layered this. So the bottom. So give me a minute. because that's the next layer. Oop. Give me a minute. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I cut off a little bit, but I gotta deal with it. There. Now the sides. Maybe pan it down a little bit. And we double layer this too. I have a huge ball of tape, tape right now. Just a window sill, no one will notice. Last piece. And there. I'll one continuous piece for once. Ball of tape. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and move my bed. But first, I'm going to move my bed. I'm going to move my bed back against the wall and take the camera off the tripod so I can do a final review. And get a good, you guys can get a good look at it. <sighs> okay, guys. This looks amazing against with the bed against it you guys ready let me just flip the camera da, 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 da. wait wrong game i was doing the zelda theme this is mario anyway so here is my mural i gotta I got admit i'm glad i didn't do this all in one day because that would have been impossible and my stress levels would have gone through the roof. Like, there would have been a hole in the ceiling. That looks amazing. Oh my gosh. I, not to pat myself on the back, but I think, I think actually this is one of the greatest art projects I've ever made. Hmm. I mean, most of my, most of my art work I just feel disappointed in because I didn't do that well of a job. But like, like proportions, they're my biggest enemy. Like, but I think I, got, I think I nailed everything. Something I don't know. Maybe I'll find a flaw eventually. But yeah, here's my painting, and I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna show you like every reference that's in this game, that it, or in this painting from every Mario game. First, we have the block question block from that's the and that's the graphics from Mario One. Above that we have, it's the Super Bell from Mario 3D World. Next to it is Luigi from Luigi's Mansion. 
Across it, from, across from it is Rabbit's Peach from Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Up above, up above in the other castle, we have Tanuki Mario from and it, it references basically Mario Brothers three because that's when the Tanuki suit was made or first introduced. Up in the castle, we have the Yoshi egg, which is referencing Mario Super Mario World because Yoshi was first introduced in that game. Here we have the Shadow People of Hell Valley, which is from Mario Galaxy. It's a creepy pasta. It's actually in the game. It's kind of freaky. Here we have the airship thingy, the hat ship from Mario Odyssey, with some of it cut off at post 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 tape because I messed up. But oh well. And the Mario Shine Sprite from Super Mario Sunshine. I said Sunshine. Sunshine. Anyway, and yeah, and in case you're wondering where something from Super Mario 64, well, the whole painting is the Mushroom Kingdom from Mario 64. That was, that's the painting in, in, in itself. The painting itself is from Mario 64. And even though I did see features only from Mario 1 and 3, where's the thing from Mario 2 you may be asking? Well, I mentioned that earlier in the video, if you were listening, but for those who weren't, well, the concept of, be, of it being above my bed is kind of the Mario 2 thing, because, like I said earlier in the video, it ends in a dream. I love this painting, oh my gosh. There are some things I should, I probably should fix, but that's for later on. So, yeah, I think I'm going to close off the video here, um, thanks for being me, thanks for being with me on this whole journey, um, yeah, there, there, I didn't know what I was looking at, anyway, so, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, hopefully you're seeing this by now, on Friday, hopefully, and if you enjoyed today's video, drop a like, like you're dropping the base, yeah. Wow, wow, got tongue tied, sorry. And get the all subscribe on the Osmizity Smack. And I'll see you for the nights in the next video. Dudes.